before taking his seat and looking down at John. Well, first of all, well played. It's never easy on your own. But I think if you look back on that, you should have got 14-15. Indeed. And remember, if the cinnamon gets a question wrong, John gets it right. He pushes him back one step. It is now time for the final chase. <laughs> Chasey, your time starts now. The word baronial refers to someone with what noble title? Baron. Correct. What drink claims to contain six year five tangs a day? Tango. Correct. Brazilian footballer Neymar was born in what decade? 1990s. Correct. Which landscape artist painted Dedham Lock and Mill, 1820? John Constable. Correct. The golden wheel is a species of what arachnid? Spider. Correct. What planet's two moons were discovered in 1877? Mars. Correct. A Fitbit Versa is worn around what part of the body? Um. Wrist. Correct. What French fashion house made Meghan Markle's wedding gown? Givenchy. Correct. A Tom Pot Blenny is what animal? Fish. Correct. Caffeine is metabolised by what organ of the body? Liver. Correct. Who directed 80s horror film The Evil Dead? Sam Raimi. Correct. <laughs> wow. No pushbacks. Uh, caught with one minute, six seconds remaining. That's 23 we'd have needed. Nonetheless, John, very good player. Hope you've enjoyed your day. Oh, it's been cracking. Yeah, and lovely to meet you as well. However, got to take away the £6,000 and tell you, John, finally you have been caught and for you, the chase is over. Chaser. What can I say? I was on form then, that final chase. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know which French fashion house uh, designed Meghan Markle's dress, but I did know that Claire Waite Keller, the designer of the dress, was uh, head designer at Givenchy, so uh, I was very, very pleased to get that one. Yeah. But really, the crucial point of that game was Nicola not guessing Gabby Douglas was a gymnast. That, right. The, the entire game turned on that moment. Yeah. Because with Nicola back, it's a very, very different game. If all four players have got back, a completely different game, because that was a good team. That were a good team. Very, very, very good team. This show is won and lost on small, small margins. The minutiae, that's the stuff you need to know. Goodbye. The end. Potato. Rita didn't want to invite car dealers to her home to kick her tyres, only to change their mind about buying it. So she sold to We Buy Any Car for a guaranteed sale instead. No time wasted. Just so For a guaranteed sale, enter your reg number now at webuyanycar.com. Play the Big Win Weekly Lottery and soon you could wake up with more money in your life. £1,000 might just pop into your pocket. Fifteen grand may well land in your lap. Call 0800 144 5480, text Win Big to 81400 or search Big Win Weekly Lottery to enter now. It's just £1 a week to play. There's over 200 cash prizes to be won every week. And there's even a chance to win the sensational £15,000 quarterly super draw. That's four chances a year to win £15,000. And every time you play, you'll help Alzheimer's Society provide care and support to people with dementia and help fund research into finding a cure. Call 0800 144 5480, text Win Big to 81400 or search Big Win Weekly Lottery to play today. Because next week could be wonderful with more money in your life. On Sky Sports, February Big Weekend. The WTA Tour's epic return. Edge of your seat, Huey. A PGA Tour showdown. It looks like a good line. The world-famous Super Bowl. Touchdown! And more massive matches from the Premier League. The best league in the world. The February Big Weekend lineup. Will you be watching? 
There she is. Let's go talk to her. Hi, I'm uh, John. Ooh, you just wash your hands? Yeah, I had diarrhea. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Ted. <laughs> Now on Challenge. Our next show was recorded in 2016. Have you ever worked hard at something only to fall at the last hurdle? Have you ever had something right in front of you that's just out of your reach? Well, these six players are about to discover exactly what that means. Because for them to go home tonight, one of them has to win outright. Until they do, they will all be cash trapped. Graphics display a series of revolving square columns from which emerge blue, yellow and red boxes similar to those inside which the contestants sit. Cash Trapped Series 1, presented by Bradley Walsh. Hello and welcome to Cash Trapped, the show where no one leaves until someone wins. Let's welcome our players. Hello, players. Hello, Hello players. Brad. The chance to escape is all down to who makes the most cash today. And as you're all new, you will all start on zero pounds. A round one is a knockout round. I'll find out more about each and every one of you as the show rolls on, all right? I've got to ask you right now a series of buzzer questions where you can knock each other out. The last man standing gets control of this board. And we'll get to that later on. Fingers on the buzzers. I wish you luck. £100 for each correct answer. In 2016, who won the Best Actor Oscar for his role in The Revenant? Carolyn. Leonardo DiCaprio. Is correct. £100 to you, Carolyn, straight away. Right, who do you want to knock out? Mmm, let me see. Ez. Ez, you are knocked out. You can't Sorry, play. Ez. Don't worry, it's all good. Here's your next question. In the Beano comic strip, Dennis the Menace's jumper <laughs> has... Gloria. Black and red stripes. Oh, I can give you that. <sighs> I was just looking for black. I can only accept the first thing you said. Now, if you'd have said red and black, oh. I'd have had to say no. <laughs> £100, uh, Gloria. Who do you want to knock out? I'm going to go for Giles. You go for Giles. Giles is knocked out. Uh, four players I'm left sorry. in play. <laughs> Which one of Stephen, Gloria, Kat and Carolyn will be the last man standing and be able to go for the board uh, for a big question worth £1,000? What type of aquatic animal is a barracuda? <laughs> Carolyn. Shark. He's wrong. Oh. It's a fish. Shark is a species of fish. Gutted. Well, so would the fish be. <laughs> <laughs> you have knocked yourself out. Yes. <laughs> All right. That. Too much information. Here's your next question. A type of pen knife containing several <laughs> blades, cat. Stanley. Is wrong. You have knocked yourself out. <sighs> Correct answer is Swiss Army. Yes. Type of pen knife containing several blades and tool shares its name with what? Oh. European Army. Swiss Army. OK. Between Gloria and Stephen, who's going to get control of the board? A lot of wrong answers today, to be fair. Uh, uh, here we go. <laughs> Pudsy Bear is the mascot of what, Gloria? Children in Need. Is right. OK, you obviously, last player uh, beside you is Stephen, so you knock Stephen Sorry, out Stephen. automatically. Sorry, Stephen. <laughs> we go to the board. Here's your categories. Coronation Street, Fitness, Legs, Love Songs, Planets, Rugby. OK. Mm. I think I'm going to go for Coronation Street and hope it's something recent. You're in control of the board. You've chosen Coronation Street. Here we go. Let's um, put up the six alternative answers, please, for Coronation Street. Alf Roberts, Joe McIntyre, Lewis Archer, uh, Samir Rashid, Alan McKenna and Danny Baldwin. Let me tell you this. If you get this question correct, you get £1,000 and you can cash trap one of your opponents. Their box will turn red and they will not be able to take part in the whole of round one. Are you ready? Yep. Gail got married for the sixth time in 2015, but which of these characters is one of her previous husbands? OK, I think... I know it's not a couple, definitely. I feel like... Which she... ones do you know it's not? It's definitely not Alf Roberts. Right. And I don't think she was married to... Someone Baldwin, Danny Baldwin. I feel like she was McIntyre, so I'm going to go for Joe McIntyre. You're going for Joe McIntyre? Is that the right answer? Yes. It is Joe McIntyre. Well played. £1,000 to you, uh, Gloria. Who do you want to cash trap? Once you've cash trapped mm. them, they are out of the first round entirely. I wonder who I'm going to cash trap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go for S. 
You're got cash trapping S. <laughs> I'm going to swear in the silhouette, yeah? <laughs> yeah, OK. That's the way it goes. We'll see you later on in the game. But right now, for round one, you are cash trapped. See ya. Um, <laughs> Joe McIntyre, absolutely right. If it had been Danny Baldwin, I played Danny Baldwin. Yeah, I, I can't remember Marion, Helen Worth, can't remember that, but there you are. <laughs> Fingers back on the buzzers, five players left in. The name of Robert Louis Stevenson's famous pirate character mm. is Cat. Long John Silver. Is correct. Well played. Who do you want to knock out? Sorry, Glow. <laughs> Gloria goes out, <laughs> having made 1,200, but you're only knocked out. You're not cash trapped. Here's your next question. Officially unveiled in 1886, what statue was a gift to the United States from Stephen? Statue of Liberty. Is correct. Who do you want to knock out? Uh, Carolyn, please. Carolyn is knocked out. Three left in Last Man Standing. The plastic material polyvinyl chloride is better known by what, Giles? PVC. Is correct. It's better known by what three-letter abbreviation it is PVC. Giles, who do you want to knock out? Um, I'm going to put the cat in the bag. Sorry, cat. Well, I see what you did there. Very good. You're not cat out. Two players left to find out who's in control of the board. Here we go. The 2015 documentary Amy is about the life of which Stephen? Amy Winehouse. Is correct. Obviously, you'll knock out Giles, he being the only other player in Last Man Standing. Uh, Stephen, choose a category. Um, I do co-run a fitness class, so I'm going to go fitness. Fitness it is. There you are. Uh, let's bring up the six alternative answers on fitness. We have step aerobics, hot yoga, live fit, zumba, spinning, pilates. Mm. Do you do any of those? No. Bit of zumba? Bit of zumba, bit of dancing while bit I'm... Of uh... hot yoga? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll just go into the gym, have a hand roll and a cup of tea and come out. <laughs> right, here we go. You ready? Here's ready. your question. What fitness craze was created by Alberto Perez in Colombia in the 90s? Ooh, Ooh, I know what this is. And so does ah. Carolyn. Carolyn's not in, so does Kat. £1,000 if you get this right. Stephen, what do you reckon it is? Brad, I'm going to go with Zumba. You're saying Zumba. Is that the right answer? <laughs> Brilliant. Well played. It is the right answer. £1,000 to you. Who do you want to cash trap? <sighs> not to pick on you, Carolyn, but I fear you now. I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to say Carolyn. Cash trapped. Carolyn, what do you reckon? And I was zumbering. <laughs> I'm not well, impressed. Well, I'm sorry, darling. We'll yeah. see you in round two. You're cash trapped. Thank you. Four players left in. Round one. Here we go. The name of what sauce made with basil and pine nuts comes from the Italian cat? Pesto. It is. Comes from the Italian for crush or pound. Who do you want to knock out? Stephen. Stephen? Oh, oh you paid sorry. the price there, mate. <laughs> you paid the price of getting that question I'm right. Just starting to like you, cat. Here we go. Three left in. The Panama Canal links the Atlantic to what other ocean? Giles. Pacific. Great answer. Who do you want to knock out? Um, Cat. Cat. Pick it on me. <laughs> Cat, you're knocked out. Uh, between Giles and Gloria. Here's your question. Alastair Leslie Graham is the full name of what TV character played by Sasha Baron Cohen? Gloria. Ali G. Is right. Oh. Hey, Giles. Giles. Paid the price there, mate. Not a strategic move at all. You leave Gloria wide open to take control of the board. Legs, love songs, planets, rugby. OK, definitely not rugby or legs. Don't think I'm going to be any good at planets, so I'm going to risk love songs. Love songs it is. Let's put that up, please. Category six alternative answers. Jennifer Rush, uh, Gabrielle Applin, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Celine Dion, Snap, Huey Lewis and the News. Quite old. Yeah, not great, is it? Not recent music, <laughs> not recent. There's only one that I really... Two that I know. Mm, right, love songs. <laughs> Here we go. Good luck with it. Which of these artists has not had a UK top ten single titled The Power of Love? Mm -hmm. There are plenty of players okay. playing today know exactly this answer. So I know two that have. Right. Uh, Which are the two that have? I think. Anyway, Gabrielle Aplin and Celine Dion. Right. I think. I could be wrong. Yeah. So I'm just going to have to guess with one of the other four. I'm going to go with Snap. You're saying Snap <laughs> hasn't had a top ten hit uh, with the power of love. Is that the right answer? Oh, oh my brilliant. god! Well played. <laughs> Two thousand three hundred pounds. You are making you move wow. nice and early in this game. Who do you want to cash trap? Oh, I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go for Giles because I think he's slow and steady. I think he's going to catch up. Ah, good thinking, Giles. Guess what? Cash trap. You got it. Only three players left in round one. Here's your question. Fingers back on the buzzers, please, Stephen, Gloria and Cat. In 1990, Meadow Hall Shopping Centre opened... Stephen. Sheffield. It was, correct. Uh, who are you knocking out? I'll knock Gloria out, please. Gloria yeah. is knocked out. <laughs> Sorry, Gloria. 
you're right back in it. It's only you and Cat to play. The month of July is named after what Roman leader? Cat. Juno. Is wrong. Oh. You knock yourself out. You hand it now to Stephen. Stephen, by default, really, choose a category. Well, I'm a season ticket holder at the Wigan Warriors. Yeah. So I like my rugby. Yeah. Rugby, please. OK, rugby it is. Of course, the answer to that question wasn't Juno, it was Julius Caesar, Cat. Julius Caesar. Let's have the six answers, alternative answers. Outside centre, fly half. Oh. Inside centre, hooker, right wing, fullback. Ready? Ready. For £1,000, here's your question. In rugby union, which of these positions takes part in a scrum? Now, you're from, Stephen? Uh, from Manchester. Right. So, really, it's rugby league? Yeah, it's rugby league up there, up north. Yeah, none of that kick and clap rubbish. Kick and clap? Yeah. What is that? That's what we call rugby union. Where's the clap come from? Because they kick it into the stands and then someone claps. Oh. And then someone else gets it back and they kick it out and then they clap. <laughs> There's no skill. It's so polite, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which of these positions takes part in a scrum in rugby union? Uh, I'm going to go with hooker. <laughs> 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 You're getting married in four weeks. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying hooker for £1,000. Is that the right answer? It is. Well played. Brilliant. I wouldn't have had a clue. You are now leading the money board alongside Gloria. Who do you want to cash trap between Gloria and Kat? Uh, I'm going to be selfish and look at the money. I'm thinking Gloria. No. Gloria, it is. Had to be really. I mean, you set the pace nice and early, Gloria. Yeah. Whereabouts are you from? Hemel Hempstead. I know Hemel really well. Whereabouts in Hemel are you? Well, Bovingdon, just outside. It is a beautiful part of the world. However, guess what? I'm cash trapped. You are indeed. <laughs> Sorry. Let's move Good on. Move. Fingers <laughs> back on the buzzers, Stephen and Cat. Here we go. The leaf of what tree appears on the national flag? <laughs> Stephen. Maple. Of Canada, yeah, brilliant. OK, obviously knocking out Cat. <laughs> Choose a category. I'm going to go planets. Planets it is, thank you very much indeed. Uh, six alternative answers. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Now, at this point, towards the end of round one, this is a strategic move now. You've got to get this right. You have to get this right. No pressure, you... then. Well, if you get it wrong, <laughs> you cash-trap yourself, leaving it wide open for Cat to go for the next category, you see, the last category. Awesome. However, if you get it right, you not only get £1,000, you can cash-trap Cat which means there's only one category to go for and you're the only player left in round one, so it's double bubble. Here's your question. Which of these planets is not named after a Roman god or goddess? Right. Well, Mercury, definitely. Venus, definitely. Jupiter sounds like it should be a god. Yeah. So it's out of Saturn and Earth. Mm -hmm. Stab in the dark. I'm going to go with Earth. You're saying Earth. Is that the right answer? It is. Yes. Well played. Brilliant stuff. Uh, £1,000 to you, Stephen. Straight away, Cat, what can I say? Cash trapped. You've got it. Oh, <laughs> straight away, Cat. This leaves you wide open, Stephen. Legs, let's have a look. Here's your category. Bring that up and six alternative answers. You can go into the second round with £4,400 if you get this question right and you've only got one go at it. One scorpion, two spiders, three grasshoppers, four humans, five elephants, six emus. Here's your question. Think about it. Which of these has the most legs for a grand? He's a okay. math teacher. He's a what? He's a maths teacher. We don't teach how many legs the various <laughs> animals have in maths. He's a maths teacher, not a zoologist. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not humans. Right. That will wipe... Discount that. Discount for. Yep. I'm thinking emus don't have very many legs. Right. I'm going to go with spiders. You're going to go with spiders? Two maths. spiders. So what are we saying? The total 16, right? Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. oh. Well, I thought it meant, like, the first... Number one, the first answer is Scorpion, number two is... <laughs> oh, no. I've got to ask you, Stephen, what is it you do? Are you, like, a mathematician or something? Yeah, I'm in charge of the maths, English, science department of the school. <laughs> You're a teacher? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch your kids give you a load of oh, stick. Oh, you said two yeah. spiders. Oh, no. <laughs> is that the right answer? <sighs> it's the wrong answer. It's five elephants. <laughs> Four fives is 20. Trust me, I get the maths question wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's the irony in that. There's none at all, other than the fact you've cash-trapped yourself. 
That's the end of round one. Everyone back in play. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Stephen's out there in front with 3,400. Uh, Gloria, 2,300. Giles, 200. Kat, 200. Carolyn, 100. And S, yet to get off the starting grid with none. Stephen's way out in front. Will he escape? I doubt it with a maths brain like that. <laughs> we'll see you after the break. <laughs> end of part one. Boots best for less. With products you love at prices you'll love even more. With our best offers and low prices on beauty and self-care favourites. You can treat yourself for less. Plus, with our exclusive price advantage savings and our best-selling Boots brand range, we're with you for our best value. And with your Advantage card, you can save up to half price on our best beauty favourites. Boots. With you for life. Why struggle to bathe when a walk-in bath or shower from assistive bathing could help? All baths and showers are made in the UK and are available with a wide range of accessories. And right now, there's 20% off in our winter sale. Taking a bath or shower is easier and more comfortable when you can just walk in. Call 0800 085 5585 for a free brochure or visit assistivebathing.co.uk. You never forget the dogs you've loved, the friend who stayed by your side. And because you understand how a dog can change a life, will you help change someone else's life with a gift to guide dogs in your will? Request your free booklet to find out how to make your will for free. Please call 0800 694 0500 or search online for Guide Dogs Free Wills. And remember the dogs you've loved with a gift in your will to guide dogs. Nature's Menu delivers tailored meals direct. Get 40% off your first meal plan box at naturesmenu.co.uk forward slash TV. With Labara, it's the same reliable network, flexible monthly plans, and they're a which recommended provider 2023. Labara, smarter. With clever hints that make growing your family tree easy and a friendly community to help, there's nowhere better to find your family history than find my past. At NFU Mutual, our quality car insurance can be relied on. You can claim with confidence as we pay out on 99% of claims with no quibble. And you don't lose your no-claims discount if you're hit by an uninsured driver. You're covered if you break down, plus we reward loyalty by giving a saving on your renewal. We do all this so you can enjoy the more important things. For quality car insurance you can rely on, join NFU Mutual today. Recently, I've taken out over 50's life cover. It's just a few pounds a month, and when I die, my family get a guaranteed cash payout, which could help pay for my funeral. I chose Sun Life's guaranteed over 50 plan, of course. After all, there are two things that really matter with over 50's cover. First, a company you can trust, and second, good service. I trust Sun Life. They're a household name. Their roots go back over 200 years. As for good service, it was simple to arrange, with guaranteed acceptance and premiums that never rise. Plus, they guarantee to pay 100% of claims. No wonder they're the UK's number one. Help protect your family. Choose the UK's most popular over 50s plan. Now with your first month free and our biggest free gift card, worth £125. You could also win £10,000 in our big cash draw. Call 0800 50 55 50 or search Sun Life Plan today. Enjoy more of the latest blockbusters on Sky Cinema with Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Ethan, our lives are the sum of our choices. This mission of yours is going to cost you dearly. I don't accept that. Impossible Dead Reckoning. Available the 16th of February on Sky Cinema. Robin Romesh are taking on the world of F1. If you're a good driver, you could be one of the drivers that drives us around. Like Uber. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> suggest it. Now on Challenge. Our next show was recorded in 2016. Part 2.
Welcome back to Cash Traps. Uh, everyone's back in play for round two. Let's have a look at the end of round one. Stephen is right out £3,400, but just missed out on spreading that lead by another £1,000. Uh, Gloria on £2,300, Giles £200, Kat £200, Caroline 100 Ez, no money at all. Thinking about getting back into the game? What's your game plan? Definitely, Brad. Definitely. I have a, I have a cunning plan. And uh, what, what is that precisely, Ez? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the end game, the final round. Yeah. And then I'm going to stop them from winning. Yeah. And then accumulate to the next show. Oh. Really? That's what I'm going to do. What amount of money, ultimately, are you looking toward? Uh, to be honest, uh, there's no limit to how much money I want to win. But, uh, <laughs> realistically, I'm looking at about £20,000. That's how much I need. I reckon that could be about four or five days. You're happy to stay away from your folks for four or five days? No problem, no problem. They hate me. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. It's round two, time for the head-to-head, -head, and we are doubling the money. Yes, everyone is back in play. It's one question on the buzzer to see who gets control of this board. The buzzer question will be worth £200. If you get it right, you choose a category and you also choose an opponent to play against. Here's your buzzer question worth £200. In the poem, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, the death of what bird is said to bring Carolyn? Albatross. It is. Bad luck. Said to bring the crew bad luck, and Albatross is right. Choose a category, please, Carolyn. Hmm. Food and drink. Food and drink it is. Thank you very much indeed. All right, who would you like to play in the head-to-head? -head? Gloria. Gloria it is. It's £300 of Carolyn versus 2300 with Gloria. This is how the head-to-head -head works. I'll ask you a question on the subject of food and drink. Two of you will take it in turns and we'll keep going until one of you finds the right answer. The winner gets £2,000 and the loser is cash-trapped and will not be able to take part in round two. Let's have a look at the six alternative answers on food and drink. Jalapeno, Carolina Reaper, Serrano Pepper, Habanero, Scotch Bonnet, Tabasco Pepper. Carolyn, you are in control and you get to go first. Which of these chilli peppers is the hottest on the Scoville scale? Well, I've got a husband that likes very, very hot food. So I'm going to go for Scotch Bonnet. You say Scotch Bonnet. If that's right, you immediately cash trap Gloria. However, if you get it wrong, Gloria has a go. You're saying Scotch Bonnet. Is that the right answer? It is the wrong answer. He's going to go for That's oh, so what I thought it was. Really? Well, we hand it over to Gloria. Pick an answer. Serrano pepper. Serrano pepper. Is that the right answer? It isn't. Back to you, Carolyn. OK. Well, as it's got part of my name in it, Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper, you're saying, is that the right answer for £2,000? <laughs> it is. Right answer, <laughs> £2,000. You're the loser of the head-to-head -head, uh, there, Gloria. Sorry, Gloria. Yeah. It's all right. You're cash trapped. <laughs> Gloria is now locked out and cannot play in round two. Everyone else, though, is back in play. In 1936, Edward VIII abdicated the throne to marry what American S? Simpson. More, please. Miss Simpson? <laughs> Marge Simpson? Not Marge Simpson. <laughs> Wallace. No, Wallace Simpson. Wallace, Wallace Simpson. Wallace Simpson <laughs> is absolutely right. You are out of that S. You are out. Here's your next question. In music... The term da capo instructs the performer to return to what part of a song? Stephen. Back to the start. Yeah, it's oh. back to the start, the beginning. All right, you're in control of the board. Choose a category. I'm going to go world geography, please. World geography it is. There you are. Who do you want to take on? And I'll take on Cat, please. Take it on Cat. I'm rubbish at geography. What do you do for a living? I'm um, a compliance manager. For what sort of industry? Broadcasting. Oh, wow. I make sure we don't get into trouble. Really? Yeah, so oh. I won't swear. No. <laughs> right, Ecuador, Sudan, Brazil, Kenya, Indonesia, Colombia. Right, those are the alternative answers. Stephen's in control of the ball, gets first crack at this. Here's your question. Which of these countries is not situated on the equator for two grand? So I'm tied between Kenya, Sudan and Indonesia. I'm going to go for Kenya. You're going for Kenya? Well, I'll don't... tell you what, though, it's a nice thought process, saying everything out loud to help the person you're going to throw <laughs> it over help, to. That's Stephen, if you have got it wrong. But that could be tactical. <laughs> right, you're saying Kenya. Is that the right answer <laughs> for two grand? No, Ooh. of course it isn't. We throw it over to Kat. 
I had a little inkling when they first came up, but... but you, we've got cream for that later yeah. on, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. It's rather uncomfortable. I'm going to go with Sudan. You're going with Sudan? Yeah. If that's the right answer, you steal. Cash trap Stephen and you get two grand. Is that the right answer? <laughs> Brilliant. Well played. £2,000 to you. Takes you up to £2,200. Nice. That was my other one. <laughs> I was thinking either Kenya or Sudan. Yeah, yeah. So was I after your thought process, so thanks. Yeah, yeah. Well, Steve, guess what? Cash trap. You're not wrong. Let's have a look at the players that are not cash trapped to back in play. Four players, Giles, Kat, S and Carolyn. Here we go. Here's the next question. How many £20 notes are needed to make a £1,000? All S. <laughs> 20. You're out of time. <laughs> you lock yourself out. Yeah, it's actually uh, 50. I've never seen that much money in one place. <laughs> no, it's actually fi it's actually 50. And you uh, won't do either the way you're going. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Ez is out of it. Giles, Kat and Carolyn are still in. What flowering shrub is named after the German botanist Leonard Fuchs? <laughs> Carolyn. Fuchsia. You've got it. Fuchsia is absolutely right. Choose a category. Um, actors, please. Actors, it is. Who are you going to take on in a head-to-head? -head? Who do you think is your nearest rival? Who can you knock out? Kat's got a lot of money, but she's, she's up with the actors. So I'm going with Giles, please. Giles. Let's see the six alternative answers. Alan Rickman, Christopher Lee, Gary Oldman, Michael Gambon, Robbie Coltrane, David Tennant. Are you ready? Which of these actors has appeared in the James Bond, Lord of the Rings and Star Wars film series? Oh, my God. Well, Which I know it's not David Tennant. Mm-hmm. Mm. OK, I'm going with Alan Rickman. You're saying Alan Rickman? Yes. Is that the right answer? Um, Is the wrong... It's yeah. wrong. We hand it over to Giles. I think Giles may know this. Oh, dear. I'm going to go for Christopher Lee. You're saying Christopher Lee. Is that the right answer? <laughs> yeah, it is. Christopher Lee is absolutely well done, right. Oh. Yeah, £2,000 to Giles. Takes up to £2,200. And, of course, Carolyn, that cash traps you. Yep, cash trapped. Christopher Lee, of course, played Scaramanga, is that yeah. right? In Bond? Yeah. And he played Sur Saruman. Saruman, yes. In Lord of the Rings. In Count Dooku, yeah, in Star Wars. Three categories left, three players left in to play round two. To have a Friday the 13th, a month must start on what day? <whistles> That's tough. Giles. Thursday. No, you lock yourself out. It's Sunday. Oh. You're knocked out of that. It's a Sunday. You'd have known that. Between Cat and S. What variety of cabbage is also the name of a five-star mm. hotel cat? Savoy. Yeah, you got it right, Savoy. Choose a category. <gasps> um, I'm going to go rock and roll. You're going rock and roll? OK, yeah. that is it. Two players uh, left to take on in the head-to-head, -head, both Giles and S. Who do you want to do? So I'll excited. take on Giles. You're taking on Giles? Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, here we go. Giles, it is. Let's see the six alternative answers. Rock and roll. Whitney Houston, Janis Joplin, Dolly Parton, Cindy Lauper, Janet Jackson, Amy Winehouse. You're in control, so you get to go first. Prior to January 2016, which of these music icons was inducted into America's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? That's tough. I think it was Dolly Parton. Really? Mm. Is that the right answer? It's uh, wrong. I'll throw it over to Giles. If we're talking... <laughs> Rock and roll, the one that seems to fit the bill more than any other is Cindy Lauper. Is that the right answer? He's wrong. We throw it back to Cat. He's still in the game for £2,000 and to cash trap another player. Prior to January 2016. Prior to January 2016. I'm going to go for Janice Joplin. Janice Joplin, you're saying? Yeah. Is that the right answer? <laughs> oh, oh, who so knew? Funky. Brilliant. £2,000 due takes up to £4,400, way out in front. You automatically cash trap Giles. Of course, you're playing in the head-to-head. -head. Two players left in. Here we oh, go. Right. Cat and S. And there are the categories. Firsts and air fresheners. Air fresheners? What do you thought of that? <laughs> Here's your question. Since 2015, Caroline Flack has presented what ITV2 S? Uh, extra Factor. It's wrong. <laughs> Love Island. Has presented what ITV2 dating show? So, Cat, you're in control of the board. Here we go. First or air fresheners? 
you know, I'm going to go air fresheners just because it's so ridiculous. Air fresheners it is. Let's yeah. put that up. All right, obviously, you're taking on S. He's the only other player that hasn't been cash-trapped. Six alternative answers on the board, please. Let's put that up. Pot of petals, fragrant bowl, dead leaves, mixed bouquet, rotten pot, strong odour. When translated from French, potpourri literally means what? I think it's... pot of petals. You're saying pot yeah. of petals. No, no. Oh, hang on. <laughs> My plan is falling into place. No. Oh. Is that the right answer, pot of no. petals? <laughs> it is not. Here we go. S. Uh, this is my specialist subject, obviously. <laughs> uh, mixed bouquet. Yeah. Oh, I knew it was that. And you knew it was that cat? Yeah, I just keep getting a brain fart. <laughs> is that the right answer? Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's the wrong oh, answer. Okay. You were so certain. And then, cat, you were certain he was certain. Guess yeah. what? You were both wrong. I know. Four left. Right back to you, cat. I'm going to go with fragrant bowl. Fragrant bowl. Yeah. Is that the right answer? Oh, He's wrong. No Three way. left. S, over to you. Uh, dead leaves. You're saying dead leaves? Yeah. Is that the right answer? <laughs> it's wrong. Flip of a coin, cat. 50-50. Here we go. Rotten pot or strong odour? I'll go with strong odour. You're saying with strong odour. Mm. This gets you two grand. This automatically cash traps S. This then would put you in pole position and take the last category worth another two grand. Critical this now for both of you. Strong odour, is that the right answer? <laughs> it's wrong. Yeah. S, is your, plan, is, your, is your plan coming together? Yeah, this is it, this is it. <laughs> no way is it rotten pot. I reckon it's rotten pot. <laughs> I'm going to go for rotten pot. Is that the right answer? Right. For two grand S, yeah, well done, mate. Take it. Oh, Minimum effort. <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> Automatically cash trap cat good, good, on £4,400. More importantly, yes, you're in control of the board for the last category, which is firsts. Let's put the six alternative answers up. You only get one shot of this, though, by the way. Okay. One shot for two grand. Here we go. Send an email, split the atom, pilot a hovercraft, escape from Alcatraz, play golf on the moon, reach the summit of K2. Here's your question, mate. In 1971, Alan Shepard became the first person to do what? Uh, I'm going to go for escape from Alcatraz. Escape from Alcatraz, yes. that's your answer. Yes. One shot for two grand. The correct answer is... It is play golf on the moon. Alan Shepard, the famous astronaut, of course. You get that wrong. Stro ironically, guess what, S? Uh, somebody else is cash trapped? No, you get cash trapped. <laughs> but don't worry, everyone's back in play at the end of round two to take on round three. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Cat's out there, £4,400. Stephen, £3,600. Carolyn, £2,500. Gloria, £2,300. Giles, £2,200. And S is on two grand. Nice. Even board. Very, very good. Round three is a total game changer. Who's going to make the most money? Who's going to end up at the top of the leaderboard? Who is going to escape? Find out after the break. End of part two. <laughs> oh, look. Green fingers just like her nana. <laughs> I'd been putting off buying a funeral plan for ages, but with Farewell, it was easy. Sarah, down the road, recommended Farewell's Hello. direct cremation plan. I said, that's just what I want. Something simple without all the fuss at the crematorium. So I checked Farewell.com and gave them a ring. Spoke to such a friendly chap and paid for it all up front. When I go, I know that Farewell's team will take care of my family too. And because it costs less than I thought, I can set some money aside for this little one. <laughs> Find out why their funeral plan could be right for you. Call their award-winning team today to order your free guide on 0330 822 1610. It won't take you long at farewell.com Health isn't someday in the future, it's now. It's same-day GP appointments. Physio without GP referrals. 
cancer testing, scans and diagnosis fast. Questions for an expert at any hour about anything. Support that lasts for as long as it takes. <laughs> Feeling your best every day starts today. Call or go online now for your health insurance quote. In my Legoland sleepover, I'd soar across the sky with a fire-breathing dragon. Roar! And the fun wouldn't end there because we'd have pirates to battle at sea just to get to bed. Or maybe we'd scamper to a ginormous woodland village and fall asleep under the stars. Wow! Get ready for a sleepover where imagination has no bedtime. Book now to get your second day free. Start earning cash back today. Sign up to Quidco. Get cash back every time you shop on over 5,000 brands. It always pays to Quidco. Some people think life slows down in your 50s, but I've got a few rounds left to go. And I don't want my lot to have to worry about funeral costs. Let them spend their money on nicer things. So I decided to learn more about over 50s life insurance from Cover Today. Cover Today are the only over 50s life insurer with no waiting period, unlike other insurers who could make you wait up to two years for full cover. With Cover Today, you're fully covered from day one and you're covered for the whole of your life. Plus, unlike other things in life, the price never goes up. Go online or talk to their friendly UK team in just one phone call. Cover Today are the only over 50s life insurer with no waiting period and no annoying trips to the doctors either. Plus, you get your choice of a £125 gift card. Now I'm with Cover Today, I can get on with something much more interesting. To find out more about Cover Today, call our friendly UK team on 0800 380 0060 or visit covertoday.co.uk. Come on, we got a bet going. What's the bet? That Ted can get Mom to swear. Just eat your supper. Wait, you're not wearing pants. Where'd you get this? Don't you worry about where I'm keeping stuff. I'm gonna get expelled. For what? I'll come up with something. I'm the king of the weeders! Oh! <laughs> the two of you might not be total screw-ups. I'm gonna need your parents' phone numbers. My parents are out of town. I don't have parents on account of I'm a teddy bear that came alive. Fantasy Football League is back. It's all kicking off again. Cash Trapped, part three. Welcome back. Uh, well, it's very even, I have to say. Well, let's have a look at the leaderboard. Cat's out front with £4,400. Right at the bottom, S is 2000 So pretty even. This is round three. This is the catch-up round. It's a game-changer, folks. Every correct answer is worth £500. You each get 45 seconds in which to answer as many questions as you can. So, S, you start because you have the lowest amount. At the end of this, by the way, don't forget the person who is at the top will try to escape today with the amount of money they've got. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go, S. I wish you luck. Thank you. Your time starts... Now, in what country of the UK is the royal residence Balmoral Castle located? Scotland. Correct. In the 1990 film Home Alone, what child actor played Kevin McCallister? Corey Culkin. Correct. The LA Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs are professional teams in what American sport? Football. Baseball. What type of animal is the title character in the 1877 novel Black Beauty? Horse. Correct. Completed in 1779, the Iron Bridge in Shropshire spans what river? Uh, Tay. Seven. The American abstract artist, famous for his drip style of painting, was called Jackson who? Pollock. Correct. In June 2016, Ivan Lendl was announced as the coach of what British tennis champion? Andy Murray. Correct. The Great Plague and Great Fire of London both occurred in what century? 16th. 17th century, 1600s. Bad luck, 17th century. Puts you at the top of the board with 4,500. Easily a big game changer. All you've got to do now is hope that Cat doesn't get any questions right at all. Easy. Probably could happen, to be fair. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Giles, here we go. Are you ready? Yes, bro. Whereabouts are you from, Giles? Uh, from Litchfield. 
Staffordshire. Uh, uh, Staffordshire. Uh, and, and what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a police officer. Are you really? Yes. How long have you been a police officer? Uh, 25 years. Any hobbies? Uh, yeah, like playing board games and uh, playing the ukulele as well. A, a ukulele playing police officer? Yeah, I'm known as the Banjo Bobby. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banjo Bobby? <laughs> yeah, I did a crime prevention song once um, <laughs> to the tune of When I'm Cleaning Windows called When I'm Burgling Houses. <laughs> Got away some of that, Giles, surely. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, how does it go, Giles? Um, it, was about, it was a while ago, so I, I can't remember. Oh, oh any excuse. Oh. Come on, then. <laughs> um, oh, what's the first line? Now I go burgling houses to earn a dishonest bob. With all the help you give me, it's a very easy job. <laughs> a door that's open just suits me. An easy target you will be. I'll have your jewellery and TV when I'm burgling your house. <laughs> very good. What about that? Sensational. <laughs> Sensational. Good for you. I wish you luck in this, all right? Let's see if we can catch up. I wish you luck. Are you ready? Thanks, 45 man. seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. What scientist introduced the equation E equals MC squared? Einstein. Correct. What red brimless hat is named after a city in northern Morocco? Fedora. Fez. In bread making, what gas produced by yeast makes the dough rise? Uh, carbon dioxide. Correct. Guy Fawkes nights traditionally celebrated on the 5th of what month? November. Correct. Tim Allen provided the voice for what Toy Story character? Buzz Lightyear. Correct. In computing, MB is an abbreviation for what unit Megabyte. of... Correct. Michael Evis was the founder of what famous music festival held in Somerset? Glastonbury. Correct. Published in 2015, Go Set a Watchman is a novel by who? Harper Lee. Correct. What is the name of the UK Prime Minister's country res residence in Buckinghamshire? Pass. That would have been Chequers. But you knew that. It, it was in there somewhere, but it's like getting a... things out of a dusty attic at the moment. Doesn't matter. Look at that. £5,700. Not bad at all. S. You can't make it to the top of the board. You're not going to be the player out there today escaping. Um, and you've already played. But with 4,500, you've got to try and stop someone escaping so you can roll that on. But that was always your tactic, right? You see? You see? I see. <laughs> you see? Don't mess with S. Don't mess with S. <laughs> Guess what, though? Yes. Your cash trap. OK. Next plays Gloria, £2,300. Are you ready? We'll give it a go. <laughs> There's confidence for you. <laughs> Your time starts now. What is the first name of Poppy Delevingne's supermodel sister? Cara. Correct. Sri Lanka is an island nation located at the southeastern tip of what larger country? India. Correct. The 1800 Battle of Marengo was fought during what wars? Past. Napoleonic. What Japanese word denotes the art of folding paper into decorative shapes? Origami. Correct. I don't believe it is a famous catchphrase of what British sitcom character? One foot in the grave. Oh. Victor Meldew. What British group had a 1966 hit with dedicated follower of fashion? Us. The Kinks. The title of Truman Capote's 1958 novella is Breakfast at what? Tiffany's. Correct. What alcohol is traditionally used to make a mojito cocktail? Rum. Correct. The Gotthard Base Rail Tunnel is in what European country? Spain. Nope, that would have been Switzerland. Bad luck. <sighs> but, Gloria, that puts you at £4,800. Once again, that will roll over, providing you stop someone escaping today. But for now, you are not at the top of the leaderboard and you cannot escape today yourself. So you, Gloria... Cash trapped. You got it. <laughs> Caroline, can you get there? Hope so. What do you do for a living? I recently retired. I was a trauma nurse. Whereabouts? In Reading. Right, OK. Let's see how you get on. Thank you. Your time starts now. The supporters of what UK football team are nicknamed the Toon Army? Newcastle United. Correct. Selfridge's flagship store is located on what London Street? South... Oh, pass. Oxford Street. Shylock and Portia are characters from what Shakespeare play? Uh, pass. Merchant of Venice. <laughs> Nadia Hussein was the 2015 winner of what TV cooking contest? Great British Bake Off. Correct. Waikiki Beach is a famous resort in what American state? Hawaii. Correct. In 2007, who succeeded Tony Blair as Prime Minister of the UK? Gordon Brown. Correct. In the 53 Disney film, what is the name of Peter Pan's fairy companion? Tinkerbell. Correct. Hampstead Heath is Cockney rhyming slang for what part of the body? Teeth. Correct. In what decade did it become mandatory for car drivers to wear... No time for that. Oh, what? Yeah, would have been oh. seat belts, of course. Well, actually, let me ask you. 80s. Yeah, you'd have got it right yeah. had you had the time. And you'd have gone to the top of the board. 
But for now, Carolyn, lovely talking to you, but... Cash trap. You've got it. Stephen, right. are you ready? Here we go. Yeah. You're well within hitting distance. Five questions. Five questions? Let's do it. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Mathematically? <laughs> Depends if I have to time it by how many legs they've all got. <laughs> £3,600. Here we go. 45 seconds on the clock. Good luck. Stephen, your time starts now. What was the birth name of the famous boxer Muhammad Ali? Cassius Clay. Correct. The 2015 best-selling novel by Paula Hawkins is called The Girl on the What? Uh, pass. Train. The national flag of Hungary features stripes of red, white and what other colour? Green. Correct. What British monarch was nicknamed the Virgin Queen? Uh, Queen Victoria. Elizabeth I. Kerry Katona and Peter Andre have both featured in adverts for what supermarket chain? Iceland. Correct. The International Morse Code, what vowel is represented by one single dot? A. E. In ice hockey, the players hit a small black object Puck. called a what? Correct. What fruit is the main ingredient in the Mexican dip guacamole? Uh, avocado. Correct. Amity Island is a fictional resort in what 75 film? No time to get there for you. Mm. You are top of the board, Stephen. Which, of course, means uh, Giles is in second place, can't reach the top of the board now. Uh, Giles? I'm cash-trapped. Yeah, you are indeed. Cat, you're 1,700 away. Three questions, four questions, you've cracked it. Are you ready? If there are easy questions, I can do it. Let's go. All right, here we go. <laughs> I wish you well. Your time starts now. What tea clipper ship is a major visitor attraction in Greenwich, London? Petit Sark. Correct. Bruges and Antwerp are cities in what... Belgium. Europe? Correct. Before decimalisation, how many pennies were there in a pound? Pass. 240. What group topped the UK singles chart in 1975 with Bohemian Rhapsody? Queen. Correct. In the classic TV series, Knight Rider, what is the name of the talking car? Hit. Correct. In cooking, the abbreviation TSP stands for what measurement? Pass. Teaspoon. What Hollywood actress married Richard Burton in 64 and again in 97? Elizabeth Taylor. Correct. The ulna and the radius are bones in what part of the body? Leg. Arm. The young of what small mammal is called a leveret? Rabbit. Hair. The site on which US billion dollar depository is held called... <laughs> at the top. Cat, £6,900. Stephen, second place. You join the other four players. You're cash trapped. Now then, Cat, you have the most money at the end of today's show. You're at the top of the leaderboard with £6,900. You will try to escape. However, it will be up to the other players to stop you escaping so the show is rolled over and they save their money. If you escape today, you go home with £6,900 and the rest of the players go with nothing and six new contestants come on the show. However, if you fail to escape and they keep you on the show, you come back tomorrow with nothing and they keep their money and roll it over and S's plan <laughs> <laughs> comes together. <laughs> All right, can the guys stop Cat or will she escape through her own flap? <laughs> 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 Find out after the break. <laughs> End of part three. Your trousers look great. I'm only wearing them because I'm embarrassed by my varicose veins. Abby, get in touch with Vein Centre. I had the same problem. They're the UK's varicose vein specialists with clinics nationwide. I was able to walk in, walk out with no time off work to recover. I never knew you had varicose veins. I was always covering them up. My only regret is that I wish I'd had treatment sooner. Start the year with you and visit veincentre.com. As any explorer knows, you should always stay open to adventure. Showerwoods. Adventures in flavor since 1889. I hope the hotel's nice. Yeah, it's five-star all-inclusive, so no worries. Just like our all-clear travel insurance. Uh, we need the best cover we can these days with my medical issues. And neither of us are getting any younger. And they gave us loyalty discount for a renewing with them. With travel insurance, you need someone you can trust to look after you. Well, it's always been all clear to me. Cabin crew, all clear for takeoff. See? Even he knows. 
Or clear travel insurance. Save 20%. Call 0800 848 8680 or visit our website. Help your kids get to grips with their cash with NatWest Rooster Money. They can save for what they want, manage their money, and even help out to earn extra cash. You'll get alerts and can easily top them up. Download the app and sign up for your Rooster card. First month free, then $1.99 a month. Search NatWest Rooster Money in your app store. NatWest, tomorrow begins today. Nature's Menu delivers tailored meals direct. Get 40% off your first meal plan box at naturesmenu.co.uk forward slash TV. At Glasses Direct, get two pairs of glasses for £15 with lenses. Go direct to glassesdirect.co.uk. Switch to EE Full Fibre and pay nothing up front for our most reliable broadband which stays fast even at peak time. And it's powered by BT, keeping workers working, live streamers streaming, and gamers gaming. Plus, there's even Wi-Fi controls for when you want to down the kids' devices. And all for just $27.99 a month. Because, you know, broadband switchers choose EE. Offer ends 8th of February. The HSL Winter Sale is now on. With up to 30% off chairs, riser recliners, sofas and adjustable beds. Plus our exclusive chair fitting will make sure your neck, back and hips are properly supported. Because when this feels good, so does everything else. Feeling good never felt better with up to 30% off in the HSL Winter Sale. End soon. Which would you gift? This spa day or all this? From Woucher. Woucher. Shop now. Give. Wow. Enjoy more of the latest blockbusters on Sky Cinema with Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Ethan, our lives are the sum of our choices. This mission of yours is gonna cost you dearly. I don't accept that. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Available the 16th of February on Sky Cinema. Cash Trapped, Part 4. Welcome back to the last round of the show, the escape round. Cat has made most money on today's show with £6,900 and gets the chance to escape. However, it's up to the rest of the players to stop her so as they remain in the game. Uh, Cat, the escape round, £6,900. What would you do with that money? Spend it very on... unwisely. Really? Yeah. Good for you. You looking forward to this round? Not really. I didn't really want to be in this position, to be honest, because it's too much pressure. Really? Yeah, and that then, you know, the option is, great, I take home that money, or yeah. I go home with, well, or I roll over to nothing tomorrow. Strangely enough, S, this plays into your hands, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. This is your master plan, isn't it? It is. To slowly, slowly build up your pot over a matter of days until you become a multimillionaire <laughs> and, you, and you escape from the show, sometimes round about... 2020. No problem. <laughs> Perfect. All right, here we go. Listen up. All that stands between you and your cash, Cat, are your five opponents. Everyone is back on play. Everyone is on the buzzer. I will ask you quick fire questions against the clock. Cat, every correct answer you give me, you can cash trap one of your opponents. Trap all five and you escape with your money. If you get a question wrong, though, we will take 10 seconds away from the 60 seconds I'm about to give you, and that is putting a massive dent in your time. The other players, of course, will be playing along and answering the same questions at the same time. They will also be on the buzzer. If they buzz in and get it right, they're obviously eating up your time, but if they buzz it and get it wrong, they are cash-trapping themselves. Make sure you absolutely know the answer. 60 seconds on the clock, please. There we go. Are you ready, team? Yes. Are you ready, Cat? Players, your time starts now. What fruit is used to make the liqueur creme de cassis? Cat. Cherry. You're saying cherry? Yes. If cherry's right, you can cash trap a player. If it's wrong, I'm going to take 10 seconds away. You said cherry. The correct answer is cat. Blackcurrant. <gasps> I've got to take 10 seconds away. S, did you know that? Of course I knew that. <laughs> 
10 seconds away, down to 46. All right, fingers back on the buzzers. Here we go. Everyone's still in play. Your time starts again. Now, who composed the music for the 1993 film Jurassic Park? S. John Williams. Correct. What French queen was executed in 1793? Cat. Marie Antoinette. Just saying Marie Antoinette with 35 seconds remaining. The correct answer is... Marie Antoinette. Well played. <laughs> Cat, who do you want a cash trap? Me old mate, Ez. <laughs> obviously, you know, obviously. Ez gets trapped, the danger man. All right, here we go. 35 seconds remaining. Your time starts again. Now, what type of clothing item is a Homburg? Carolyn. Hat. Correct. True or false, Rafael Nadal has won more Grand Slam Gloria. True. It's correct. What boy's name repeated is a Dutch sat nav manufacturer? Gloria. Tom. Correct. In the body, a lack of what vitamin causes scurvy? Gloria. D. That is wrong. Vitamin C is the right answer. That means you cash trap yourself. Yeah. You're out of the game. Only Stephen, Giles and Carolyn are left in to play against Cat. 17 seconds remaining. Your time starts again now. What 1950s musical features the song Luck Be A Lady? Carolyn. Thousand Dolls. Correct. In what month does the financial year start in the UK? Giles. April. Correct. What US president resigned following the Watergate scandal? Carolyn. Oh, God. Time's up. You have cash trapped yourself. Nixon. It is Nixon, you're right. We have one second remaining. Stephen and Giles are left to stop Cat escaping with one second. Bye bye, £6,900. That's all right, it's always tomorrow, Cat. You ready? Your time starts again. Now, what English football club are nicknamed Pompey? You are out of time. Two players left. Uh, three have been cash trapped, which means, of course, Cat, I'm sorry, you do not escape. You have failed to beat your opponents. So. Well done, team. Well done, Hi. team, says Stephen. Guess what, Cat? I've got to take away the £6,900. You are back to zero, returning tomorrow. Of course, Stephen will start the show tomorrow, having had £6,100 in the bank. Gloria has £4,800, Giles £5,700. S has £4,500, the plan is coming together, S. And Carolyn, <laughs> £5,500. Congratulations, you've managed to stop Cat escaping, and so the money you've made today will be rolled over to the next show when you return to play again. Until then, all the players, you are cash-trapped. Goodbye. I know I didn't want to be in the end game because I know what I'm like under pressure and I just knew that I'd come to the next show with nothing. And that's what happened. I'm going to be holding out for another rollover after tomorrow, so whoever's, like, in the leads by the end of round three tomorrow, I'm coming for him. The End. As a dad, I know life's unpredictable. It's all fun and games until it's not. You okay? I want my kids to always be looked after. That's why I'm not putting things off anymore and protecting the life we've built by calling Smart Insurance. Hi, how can I help? Hi, like a quick quote, please. Okay. You can choose a benefit amount up to £750,000, depending on your age. Brilliant. If you're a UK resident aged 18 to 64, you can apply with just a few health and lifestyle questions. For £250,000 of cover, the price starts at just £14.77 a month. That's just not thought. And could help my wife pay off the mortgage. With our smart family guarantee and 99% of claims having been paid, you'll have peace of mind. That's good to know. You'll also receive a 100% advance in the event of terminal illness and 10% cashback on your first year's premiums. That's the smart cashback. Plus, you get your choice of a free £125 gift card. Protect the life you've built the smart way. To get a free quote today, call our specialist UK team on 0800 977 6797 or visit smartinsurance.co.uk. Epic AI, epic new Samsung. Get the new AI-powered Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Just circle it to find it.
Epic Search is here on the UK's best network. No wonder more Samsung owners choose EE. Buy now to save up to 432 pounds when you trade in and claim a pair of Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Come on, we got a bet going. What's the bet? That Ted can get mom to swear. Just eat your supper. Wait, you're not wearing pants. Where'd you get this? Don't you worry about where I'm keeping stuff.